Yo, what is up guys? How's it going? Coming at you with a deck profile video. The deck that is in front of you is the deck that I played at to a top 32 finish at the World Championships this past weekend. Uh, Zorark Garbodor. Um, so let's just get right into it. Let's go over. So pretty standard 4-4 uh, Zorark. Um, uh, me and my guy, me and my group chose to play the, uh, the Mewtwo. Um... Basically, you can if you want to play like a, a basic psychic attacker, um, choose between Mewtwo or Latios. I like Mewtwo. There's a lot of Buzz Wool. Uh, Mewtwo is pretty good against Buzz Wool. Um, Latios not. It, Latios is okay, but you pretty much need the choice ban. I mean, if they open Buzz Wool GX, it doesn't even two shot a baby Buzz Wool. Um, and with us knowing there was going to be a lot of uh, Buzz Rock and as, as well as Buzz Garb, um, just having something you can like use early to attack with. Um, and kind of buy time if they have like a, a really good start an opening where they don't have to put a lot of items in the discard pile that's why Mewtwo is really good uh so I'm, I'm really glad that we did play the Mewtwo I use it quite a bit throughout the tournament um yeah yeah I'm glad, I'm glad we played the Mewtwo the Mewtwo worked uh very well it did its job uh very well um very good against the Buzzle decks not really good against much else but very good against Buzzle decks it can be situationally good against like Rayquaza and stuff but not quite as consistently good um we can kind of like Force a two-shot, it's one prize attacker, which is nice. <clears throat> uh, three Lele's. This is the only difference between uh, my list and my group's list. They chose to play three Bridget, two Lele. I went with three Lele, two Bridget, because I just want to be able to have, especially going against Rayquaza decks, I want to be able to have access to just everything as opposed to just Bridget. And specifically against Rayquaza decks, they were playing the uh, Mars Shadow, which shuffles your hand. You shuffle your hand in your deck and then draw four cards. I don't want to draw a Bridget off that because then I need to draw a Bridget and a way to have a draw supporter. I just want to draw a Lele off that specifically. Um, if you just draw a Bridget, then you play Bridget, and if you don't see a draw supporter, then you just lose. But if you see a Lele, Lele go get, can go get a draw supporter if you don't have a Bridget or uh, don't have a draw supporter. Then the Lele can also get the Bridget if you also have access to a way to get a draw supporter. So I think the third Lele specifically for because of Marsh Shadow was the way to go for sure. I didn't play against any Rayquaza. I don't think any of us did, but uh knowing that all the Rayquazas were playing Marsh Shadow and it was gonna be out there, I think going with the Lele, um third Lele over third Bridget was definitely the way to go. Um over to the Garbodor line, uh pretty standard, the three, two, one. Uh we did a two one Trubbish split, one stomp off. There's really no really no reason not to play a stomp off. I never used it. I don't know if them any of them ever used it, but there's really no reason not just to play one stomp off. Two acid spray. Acid spray is pretty much is consistently better. Um is you consistently get more use out of it. So that's why you played the two acid spray and just the one stomp off. But um yeah. Didn't I don't think I attacked with either of them ever um throughout worlds. Uh, and then of course two trash lines, one ability lock arm. Uh, some people have been cutting ability lock guard from their Zorak decks, and I think that's really wrong. Ability lock arms offers up so much control. Um and just overall comeback potential and like, so many options. Like it just gives you so many more options throughout a game. Like there's really no reason not to play ability lock arp if you're playing Trubbish. Um, except for now when it rotates. Uh, obviously Trash Lance, that's your late game attacker. Um, sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes Zorark and Lele can get the job done. But usually you're going to use a Trash Lance or two every game. Um, so we got the Garbiters there. So pretty standard uh, Pokemon line overall. Um, nothing too crazy. Mewtwo is like probably the craziest thing to see here. Um, but even then, that's not that crazy. Um... Definitely not revolutionary or anything, the Mewtwo. I just like Mewtwo. I like playing Elite Mewtwo or Latios. Uh, specifically, I just think Mewtwo is just better. It was definitely way better going into the meta. And I think better overall. It'd be, it'd be a very interesting, a very weird meta for me to think Latios is ever better than Mewtwo in this deck. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard Pokemon line. So let's get into the supporter line. Uh, not many supporters overall. Uh, one Sycamore. I'm still a huge fan of Sycamore and Zorark decks. I know that's something some people have started to cut. Um... Yeah, Sycamore is... Play a Sycamore in Zorak decks. I guess now we're going into rotation, so you won't be able to, but... Sycamore, I think, was is still busted in Zorak decks. Uh, so I had the one of Sycamore, three N, two Cynthia. Generally, this deck plays four N, one Cynthia, because the, uh, the combination of N plus Ability Luck Arb is just so strong, you always want N. Um... But with the matchups being a little bit slower, like the the Buzz Garb matchup is... The Buzz... Baby Buzz uh, Trash Lanch matchup is super slow... Uh, Zorak mirror matches are pretty slow, um, and it's possible you, as a Zorak player, just get the lead. Um, so I wanted the second Cynthia uh, over the fourth N, just because I want to be able to just draw cards as the game progresses. Especially when you set up the ability lock card, you just want to be able to draw cards. So if you like take the first couple prizes, which is possible, this deck generally is a little bit slower and doesn't you know aggressively look to draw prizes. You just kind of like attach attack and just see where the game goes. Um, but sometimes you do just like sometimes you know you maybe two shot there for Zorak or you. KO two Zeruas or KO Zeru and then a Trubbish, whatever it might be. 
Um, sometimes you just draw prizes aggressively. Sometimes maybe you're going to KO, let's say against the boss guard deck, you KO a Trubbish and then maybe Boswell before they even draw a prize. Um, whatever it might be. Um, if you have ability lock arm online, you're not drawing that many cards through the trade. If you have to have the ability lock arm, that's why I like the second Cynthia over the fourth end. I just want, like, you just want to be able to draw cards under Toxin specifically. Um, so yeah, there's that, the draw supporter split, one Sycamore, three end, two Cynthia, uh, down to two Guzma. This is where, where I really would have only liked a change. I don't even know what I would have cut for a third Guzma. A third Guzma would have been very nice. Um, I don't know what I would have cut for it. Maybe the max potion, which is coming up next. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, I wasn't, um, I would have definitely liked the third Guzma. Two was okay. You don't need a Guzma a whole time with this deck. You're usually fine with, like, attach, attacking the active. But a third Guzma would have been nice to have. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, third Guzma would have been nice. I, counter Catcher is, like, the other thing to consider in here. I don't think Counter Catcher is very good in this deck. Like, you, you want to be consistent about just doing damage and then setting up your late game. You don't need Counter Catcher. It's too much. Uh, one of Max Potion. Generally, there's a Max Potion or an Ace Roll in this deck. The Max Potion is just a little bit more uh, aggressive. Can be combo like Ace Roll is just kind of slow. I felt in this deck um, in the testing in at Worlds, um, or is that what we were finding that the Max Potion was just kind of? I mean, the Ace, Ace Roll is just kind of slow. Um, so we went with a Max Potion instead of Ace Roll, and I got I got a fair a decent amount of use out of it. It wasn't like huge game changing. I don't think ever really for me. Um, it was consistently useful though, so I I, I think I would have played it again for sure. Um, yeah, so one of Max Potion. Basically, just Max Potion over Acer Roll. A lot of people run the Acer Roll. I think the Max Potion is just uh, a little bit better, especially for the meta that showed up. If there was more Zorak decks that showed up, then I think Acer Roll would have been better, but uh, there's a lot of Buzzwool, so Max Potion is a little bit better in that matchup. Uh, four Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Uh, Pokemon Search Line, four Ultra Ball, one Evil Set, one Treasure. Not, not too much to say on that. Um, just find Pokemon, set up, play the game. Uh, two Choice Band, three Float. Once again, pretty standard. Uh, Tool line. I know some people have been like cutting down to two float, but like it's a little greedy. Um, it's not terrible to cut down on a float actually. Um, but you know, we just go up to three two. We just want to be consistent. If you if if you play, if you're the better player and you can play your game, you're gonna win more most of the time, right? So just want to be able to play our game. Uh, four puzzle time with the Zorak deck, standard straightforward. Three blower. Um, you want control over your own toxin as well as just the game in general, getting all their tools in the discard piles to make sure Trash Lanch does a lot of damage. Uh, Parallel City Control and the Parallel City Wars that happen in the Zorak Mirrors. Um, so three blower, just control all of that. Um, three Parallel City. Generally, you only see two in Zoro Garb. Uh, we want three. We just wanted like kind of full control or as much control as possible over the Stadium War, uh, stuff like that. It gives you a lot of control in Zorak Mirrors, actually, the three Parallel City. Um, just being able to constantly limit their bench uh, can make it hard for them to even do damage with Zorak eventually. Um, so we want the three Parallel City there. Uh, two Enhanced Hammer. Uh, this has been a pretty standard inclusion. I think recently people have been cutting their Kartana for the second Enhanced Hammer. You see we don't have Kartana here. We went with the, the basic Psychics. Um, so yeah, the two Enhanced Hammer. It gives a lot of control in the Buzzwell matchups, actually. The Baby Buzz, Trash Lanch, as well as Buzz uh, Rock. You know, if they have to attach specials early or in the mid-game, you can remove them with the Enhanced Hammers, and you just give yourself a ton of control um, overall in the matchups. Yeah, big fan of the two enhanced hammers. Uh, they helped me a lot in the, the buzzwell matchups I played against. I could just slow them down and be like, I need to buy some time here. I'm going to slow you down, remove your only energy out of play, and just kind of work from there. Uh, two Bridget already went over this. Um, you definitely want to play two because prizing one is super. If you only play one and you prize it, that's a, a huge deal. Um, also, you increase the chances by a ton by playing two. So yeah, I went with the two Bridget. Like I said, I went with three Lele, two Bridget instead of three Bridget, two Lele. Um, definitely... Glad I did that. There was a lot of times where I would use my third Lele. Um, yeah, and then the the two Bridget, um, pretty standard overall. Just you don't, you don't you want to play two instead of one because you don't want to prize the one. Uh, let's see, one Rescue Stretcher. Um, once again, pretty standard inclusion. You just want to be able to get your Pokemon back. Specifically, Trubbishes. I found I use the Stretcher for a lot. Uh, Trubbishes. Sometimes I Stretcher for a Lele. Rarely did I ever stretch it for Zorak pieces unless I was just trying to get three things, three Pokemon back in my deck. Um, so sometimes I do that. Generally, just stretch it for Trubbish, and that was it. Uh, and then the energy line, super standard. Four double colorless energy, three psychic energy. Uh, like I said, no Kartana, so we're going with the basic psychics here. And then 40 C because Zorak's our main attacker. Zorak, Lele, you two are our main early game attackers. And three psychics, so we can attack with Trash Lanch. Uh, no Kartana, so no unit energy, like I said. Um, so pretty pretty standard on that end as well. Um, so this is the list we ended up 
me and my group ended up playing at Worlds. Uh, I ended up getting top 32. Uh, they got top 16 and top 32. So we all placed in top 32, which is pretty good. It was pretty cool. Um, wasn't weren't able to get any of us in top eight, but uh, it is a tough tournament. So I think uh, I think we're all content with at least getting top 32. At the very least, all of us getting top 32. Um, so yeah, the meta we were, we were expected to show up was uh, Buzzgar, Buzzrock, Zoro Garb. Maybe I didn't think there was actually gonna be like any Zoro control, and there really wasn't. Um, expected yeah, Zoro Garb. We expected uh, Buzzrock and Baby Buzzwool, Shrine of Punishment, uh, Garbodor deck. So that's kind of why. Why we played the deck the way we did. Oh, and Rayquaza as well. But like versus Rayquaza, all you want to do is be consistent. Um, and specifically for me, that's why I played the third Lele over the third Bridget was against Rayquaza because of Marsh Shadow. If you get Marsh Shadowed um, to four, you want the option of Bridget or draw supporter, not being forced into just Bridget. So I'd rather draw a Lele than a Bridget. Um, so yeah, we're, we, the deck was built, or the list is built in mind of trying to beat those decks. You got the Mewtwo for the Buzz Trash Lanch deck plus Buzz Rock. Enhanced Tamers. Um, specifically for like Buzzwool matchups, Buzz, Buzz Trash Lynch, Buzz Rock, very good against those matchups. Just slow them down if you just need to kind of buy time to like just set up more stuff and um, go through your deck. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to touch on. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you enjoy the content, subscribe. Um, links in the description as always, my Twitch, my Twitter, Facebook, all the stuff like that if you want to check any of that out. Links in the description below. Um, I'll probably be coming at you guys soon. Uh, beginning of next week with some more deck profile videos. I got two League Cups and a League Challenge this weekend. And like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, deck profile videos uh, at, you know, after uh, tournament weekends. If I do well at a tournament on the weekend, I'm going to be coming at you with a deck profile video with the deck I played, why I played the counts I did, uh, based on what meta I expected to show up at, you know, League Cup, League Challenge, Regionals, whatever, and kind of break down my thought process of why I played the counts of cards, the deck I did, and then the counts in the deck that I did. Um, I mean, going into this weekend is the first rotation weekend, so uh, I probably won't get too specific into metagaming people, but probably just looking for something uh, aggressive and consistent to play at my League Cups this weekend for sure. Um, but yeah, that was the deck profile on the Zoro Garb I used to get top 32 with at Worlds. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, have a good day and peace.